Admire the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Are you curious where you can watch the latest episode of Kamen Rider and Sentai every week? Well, since there is no official release, you might have to resort to alternative methods. Personally, when I search for website to watch Tokusatsu, my top priority is to safeguard my personal data. That's why I rely on Surfshark VPN, the sponsor of today's video. With Surfshark, your online safety Safety and privacy is paramount as it is effective at concealing your online activities through its VPN capabilities. By encrypting your internet traffic that nobody can prey into your online endeavors or track your digital whereabouts. Additionally, Surfshark enables you to virtually explore the world with a tap thanks to its ability to change your VPN address by switching your location to any Anywhere in America, let's say, you can access at least over 10 Ultraman shows and movies or explore other Toku shows available on Toku Shoutsu. You can poke around at the Japanese premium Bandai page and discover a captivating array of expensive children's toys. I highly recommend getting Surfshark VPN today as it comes with an extra three months. Simply click the link in the description and if you are unsafe, Satisfy. Rest assured, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So, why wait any longer? Take advantage of this fantastic offer and sign up now. It's an incredible opportunity for all of you, my fellow Tokusatsu fans. The episode follow Gento and his once teacher at Kaijuology. With Japan experiencing heat wave, suddenly an upside down rainbow appears. Gento, knowing that his teacher, Would know about the rainbow's appearance. The teacher tells Gento a story about the time when he was a child and the same drought c h a p h e n So, the village that he lived in performed a ritual to an entity named Niji Karaji, but it was explained to him that he would need to be careful with performing this ritual because, in the wrong hands, something really dangerous might happen. A couple of minutes later, Gento gets a call about the arrival of Niji Garachi, with missiles not moving him and his ability to create rain. After a quick check from Amy, Niji Garachi was worshipped by many cultures. One of them tells the story that Niji Garachi would appear and destroy the land, aka Earth. After hearing it, Gento goes back to talk to his teacher, where his teacher tells him that he was the one that brought the kaiju back with the intent to destroy Earth because of humanity's now hatred towards kaiju, with the kaiju destroying the old Earth and rebuilding a new one where humans and kaiju live in harmony, with the kaiju creating typhoons all over Japan and Scarred goes out to fight it. But Earth Garon was unsuccessful, so Gento transforms into Blazer. But even Blazer can handle the power of the kaiju. And after the kaiju blocks Blazer's spear, the kaiju was ready to hit one final blow to Blazer. But before it can hit him, Blazer just disappears. This was amazing. It genuinely brings me back to the Heisei era of Ultraman. Everything was amazing, from going full spiritual with the kaijin. And bringing back the time where Kaijin and humanity live together in harmony, and the crazy scientist that believes that, that Kaijin and humans need to live in harmony. Now they don't do that. So we need to destroy the old earth and rebuild it again. Everything about this episode was absolutely great. I enjoyed everything. I think the only Problem that I have in this episode, it really felt like it should have been a Nagare focus episode with 
Nagare being like the kaiju expert of the team. And even when Nagare heard that the person that uh, Gento was his teacher, hearing about Gento learning from that specific man, like he was actually like giddy. It was like, oh, that would have been cool if he would learn from him. And it's like, it feels like something that a Nagare focused episode would have, but it, it's not. It's a Gento focused episode, which is truly fine because Gento is our protagonist. But I don't know, I feel Nagare right now is like the character we don't really get a lot about. We get small little details, specifically like his family, like living in a farm, like that's cool. But I, I would have liked to see like an episode actually focused on him. But I do really like the interactions between Gento and his teacher. It's specifically like, oh, do you want to eat it? When the teacher kind of offers Gento something to eat, it's like, oh, it's kaiju meat. Ah, you want to eat it? And it was kind of funny. And uh, the cinematography specifically in the last fight of the episode was great with the desaturated colors. And you can see like Blazer being a lot more silver. And like the crystal scars that Blazer has on his head are a lot muted. It looks really cool. Now one of the questions that would be answered in next week's episode. Why Blazer disappeared? Did he was like genuinely afraid? Is he just straight up? Caveman, caveman discover fear. No way, I'm going. Uh, it's kind of interesting because we never really saw an Ultraman kind of like actually get like frightened. It's like, you know what? Bitch, I'm out. I'm not gonna fight this. This is scary. So yeah, what you thought about Blazer episode 7? Comment below, let me know. Thank you very much for Surfshark for supporting my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you already didn't. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day.